Okay everyone, today I'm going to be testing how much weight my superconductor can hold while it's in flux pinning or quantum locking. I'm going to be testing pushing down on it, so I'm going to be setting weights on it, and then I'm going to be testing with it hanging in the air and quantumly pinned upside down and seeing how much weight it can take while hanging. Okay, so first, once again, we're going to cool down the puck with liquid nitrogen. Okay, here we go. So you can see in the middle of the quantum levitator, it's kind of white. That's because there's a gap in there and there's some foam. And the foam is just to hold more liquid nitrogen so it can stay cooler longer. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is just putting this cup on it and then I'm going to pour salt in it until it touches the magnets and we'll see how much weight that salt is at the end. Okay, here we go. Put our cup on, send it around the track once. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Starting to tilt a little. Okay, still levitating just fine. So it's able to tilt, but it doesn't get pushed down. See how it can tilt? So it tilts fine, but it's still not going down. So I'm gonna have to balance it really well. Okay, now let's try this. Put our salt on. Easily holds that. Whoa! That is crazy. Look at it hold that much. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Lock it right there. Salt on. Ooh, that's stable. Okay, let's keep pouring it. Whoa. Look at that. It's taken the whole cup. That is crazy. Oh no, <laughs> dang it. Okay, here we go. Again, the whole cup is on there. Keep pouring it. Try to keep it stable. Can I have my hand ready to catch it? Wow, look at that. That is so crazy. I never thought it could take the whole cup. About right there. Still holding it. Look at that. So it holds this weight just fine.
<laughs> okay, nice and stable. Let's keep adding weight. <laughs> Whoa. Add two of these. Okay, it's still floating. I think that's gonna be our max. See the gap? It's still there. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> okay, I think that's our max right there. You can still see the gap at the bottom. One little push down. It actually still is staying just fine. Maybe I can add some more. I'm gonna add this whole other piece on, see if we can get it to balance. That's too much. Okay, so our superconductor weighs 19 grams, or 18 grams, we'll say. So this is our bottom piece now. And everything on top. Whoa, 244 grams. Look at that. So it could hold 13 and a half times its own weight. That's insane. I'm sure we lost a little salt along the way, so we'll call it 245 grams. Oh, there it goes. So what's crazy about this is the whole puck weighed 18 grams, but everything on the puck isn't actually the superconductor material. A lot of the weight is actually just the foam and this black part above it. So the foam is just to keep in a lot of the liquid nitrogen and the black part on the bottom here, this is actually the superconductor. And I'm not quite sure how thick it is, but I don't think it's very thick. It's probably only less than a fourth of this puck thick. So I have here my giant neodymium magnet. What I'm going to do now is put the superconductor underneath it and hang it from below and see how much weight we can actually hang from it. Okay, so I'm going to be sticking the puck in between here, sticking it to my giant neodymium magnet, getting it quantum locked in place, and then pouring salt in here and seeing how much it can take. Okay, locked. Here we go. Whoa, so the other way it's still holding it. Look at that. A cup full of salt. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at that, it looks like it can hold just as much hanging like this. It's completely full now. Look at that, oh it's slightly going down. <laughs> okay, pour a little out. So it can hold that much.
That is crazy. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's how much weight it can carry. Let's measure how much this is. Okay, now let's see how much our hanging salt cup weighed. 135 grams. So a little bit less than when, we're, when we were setting it on it, but the reason is because when we're setting it on it, it's pushing it closer towards the magnet. And the closer it gets to the magnet, the stronger the quantum locking is. And so as we get closer, it's repelling more and more and more. Whereas when we're hanging it, it's locked in place. But as we move further from the magnet, the quantum pinning gets less. So technically, if I were able to get that tiny of a gap, just like I had when I was putting it down on the superconductor, if I were able to get that small of a gap in between hanging it, I should be able to get the same weight. But I, I was still about that far away from it, so it wasn't quite as strong of flux pinning or quantum pinning. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see my previous videos that I've done with my superconducting track here and explained more about quantum locking and how it occurs or flux pinning, then click the link in my description or you can click the card up here to take you to one of those videos. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.